Now there's some items in Hypixel Skyblock that are incredibly rare. For example, a Depan's Alloy or an Enrager. But there's no doubt that these items are obtainable. There's other items like fire sale items, cosmetics and skins that are not obtainable from their original source, but you can still kind of get your hands on them. And there's other items that are in the game, but you just simply can't obtain. The reason for these items being unobtainable do and can differ from item to item. But today it's time to take a look at some items that there's no way of actually obtaining, but they are pretty much in the game. There's just no way of getting them. Now, funnily enough, some of these items are literally, you can just search for them and they come up. For example, the Giant's Eye Sword. And now the Giant's Eye Sword is basically a hybrid between the Giant Sword and the Precursor Eye. It was on the Alpha server for a, for a brief period of time a couple of months ago. It looks like this was meant to just be simply a better Giant Sword to some extent and required a Master Mode Floor 6 completion. It has the same base stats as a regular Giant Sword giving us 500 damage and 1 swing range but it also has the Eye Beam ability. Right click, fire a laser in front of you dealing 4000 damage and costing 40 mana. The damage increases by 100% um, every second for 5 seconds and the mana cost increases by 25% every second. You can right click again to deactivate the laser. Um, damage of the laser increased by 1.5 times while wearing the Precursor Eye. So basically what this means is that you'd have a giant sword but at the same time if you were wearing a Precursor Eye it would basically buff it. The ability on the sword and the Precursor Eye is virtually the same other than the extra line at the end. It's pretty interesting. The Precursor Eye is kind of, um, I mean, it is kind of off meta at the moment. And um, maybe making it more powerful would, would maybe bring it back. Now, we've got plenty more where that came from. But before we go any further, if you are planning on purchasing anything from the Hypixel store, make sure to use code NITROS and get yourself 5% off. You should subscribe to the channel. If you watch the videos and you haven't subscribed, please make sure to do so. You should join the Discord server. It's linked in the description of this video. We have for slayers and dungeon carries. So if you need carries, so I want to carry and make some coins, make sure to join. Now onto the uh, the next item. And if you literally just search for crypt, this weapon comes up here. The crypt with a lord sword, which is obviously not really in the game, but is in the game at the same time, considering it's right there. And just looking at it on face value, it looks pretty similar to the dreadlord sword. It gives us 62 base damage, 50 strength, and 113 intelligence. Our Witherlord right click ability shoot 3 skulls, each dealing 2478 damage, mana cost 40, and a cooldown of 3 seconds. And it requires the Catacomb skill level 18. Now, of course, this is not like a, a majorly later game weapon at all. By the looks of it, it, it looks like it was probably a sword that you could have simply just dropped while playing dungeons. But I could be wrong. Now, I've got a feeling that the um, the Crypt with the Lord Sword is probably a really, really old item. I could be wrong, but if you just compare it to a Dreadlord Sword, it's nowhere near as good. I mean, if you look at its base stats, the damage um, on the Dreadlord Sword is 106. On the Crypt with the Lord, it's 62. If we look at other stats like Strength and Crit Damage, um, well... The Withlord Sword doesn't give you any crit damage, it gives you very similar strength. And also, not as much base intelligence. The Withlord Sword has a cooldown of 3 seconds and a mana cost of 40. The Dreadlord Sword doesn't have a cooldown, um, but has a mana cost of 42. And the damage it deals is also going to be very, very, very similar. It just is a worse version of a Dreadlord Sword. Now, something else that is interesting is if we take a look here um, at the actual ability on the Dreadlord Sword... It's called Dreadlord, and it's right click, shoot a skull that deals however much damage. And on the Crypt with Lord Sword, um, shoot three skulls, each dealing a similar amount of damage. So this shoots three skulls, but has a cooldown of three seconds, and the Dreadlord Sword shoots one skull, but doesn't have a cooldown. Which means that the Dreadlord Sword is going to be better, because you can click more than once per second. Nevertheless, it's, it's pretty interesting, and from my knowledge, I don't think it was ever actually implemented into the game. Also, not to mention the Dreadlord Sword has a Catacombs skill requirement of level 3, and um, the, the other Crypt with Lord Sword was Kata 18. So yeah, it's really, it's pretty interesting the fact that it's just sitting there in the game. I mean, at this point it would be completely useless and if it wasn't changed at all, nobody would use it because it's not really plausible for anyone under the maybe skill of skill level of maybe 5 or 10 to use. Okay, um, now the rest of the items that I have are really quite interesting. And to be honest, I didn't really know it was possible to actually view all of these items in such a way. Uh, there's literally a, a page on the wiki labelled admin items. Admin items are special items only an admin can use, meaning that they are in the game, just nobody can use them unless you're an admin, thus making them pretty much unobtainable for the regular player. But if we just take a look th through these items, some of them are so wacky. 
For instance, we have the Anubis, which is um, a helmet, an admin helmet. Um, it can't be reforged, however, it gives you 3,000 health. Uh, there's also uh, another helmet, which is the RNG God, which is obviously RNG, but for some reason someone was feeling a little bit silly when they made this item. Gives you a 1,000 magic find. It is basically a clover helmet, but not a clover helmet. But this is, it's the closest thing you could probably get to it, considering it gives you a percentage magic find buff, but on steroids. There's another helmet, it's simply called Boss, and it kind of speaks for itself with a thousand health and defense and 60 speed. Bit of an interesting one. Another helmet called the Kinred, which gives you 70 speed. Why? A helmet called the Fast, which gives you 400 speed. I guess that's probably quite accurate. Another helmet just called the Voodoo, which gives you a thousand defense. The Titan's Helmet, which gives you 10 strength, 150 health, 100 defense, and 50 intelligence. Honestly, that's, um, I don't know. In fairness though, wait, this is actually, um, this actually looks to be an armor set rather than just the helmet. A full set of armor with a combined 55 strength, 750 health, 575 defense, and 225 intelligence. Very interesting. We've got, well, Helmet of the Stars and Armor of the Stars. The helmet giving you 10,000 health, 3,000 defense, and 1,000 intelligence. I've, when I've looked at admin's profiles before, I've seen them with both uh, Helmet of Ar Armor of the Stars and also the Sword of the Stars, which we'll talk about in a second. A full set of armor combined with 52,500 health, 14,500 defense, and 5,500 intelligence. Uh, a Ferocity 150 sword, which is literally just a sword, which gives you 10 damage and... 150 ferocity a ferocity 50 sword which is just the same as the last sword which gave you 150 but this was gives you 50 instead sword of the stars which gives you almost a hundred thousand damage increases melee damage dealt by 65 percent it has sharpness 10 um only those with the power to create the world uh, can wield this blade crazy but how about the sword of the stars 3000 giving you basically a million plus damage and sharpness 25 Oh, but it doesn't stop there. How about the Sword of the Stars 9000 giving you basically 10 million damage and sharpness 50, I believe. Is is L50? Or is L12? Yeah, L's 50. I'm not great with Roman numerals. I think L's 50. How about the Sword of the Universe? The most usable and um, purposeful weapon in the game. Giving you uh, infinity damage, infinity skill, and also 100 clout. With sharpness 50... Oi, you. Yes, you. Uh, what are you looking at? Yes, this sword has infinity damage. Uh, kind of overkill. I I'm lazy, okay. I mean, it has rainbow letters. It looks kind of cool. How about the ray gun? It's an admin bow giving you 100 million damage and power 50. The zoom. A pickaxe with breaking power 10, plus 30 damage and 3,000 mining speed. The crazy enchanted clock. Uh, ability time skip. Would time travel not have been more sensical advances the time of all your minions on your island by one hour i guess that would be kind of cool obviously i guess it's just a test thing so i mean majority of these items here are just a test there's an item which is just a giant pile of cash a dungeon item used to earn infinite infinite amounts of coins pretty interesting you know pretty interesting uh, the Game Fixer, given to individuals who, who broke the game too many times. Thanks for your great help. Has that ever been given out? I'm not really sure. I could be wrong. Let me know. Oh, oh never mind. A pickaxe that was scrapped in favour of the Game Annihilator. Then we have the Admin Lava Rod. Very creative name, giving you a million damage for some reason unknown on a, on a fishing rod. Um, and also a 100% sea creature chance. It, it also has a, a too high number of flash... Gain a 100% chance to instantly attract fish. Please, that would have been great to have when I was doing my fishing grind, you know? And we have the Sword of the Universe, and how about the Bow of the Universe too? Giving us 100 million damage, 100% bonus attack speed, a 0.5 um, second shot cooldown, infinite damage, infinite skill, 100 clout, giving us Dragon Tracer 10 and Infinite Quiver 10. Also, it's a short bow. We can actually see when some of these items are added as well. Majority of them being added all the way back in June 2019, when Skyblot was released. The Zoom pickaxe released with the, with the, well, with the release of the Dwarven Mines in 2021, January. 
in June 2022, they were they were cooking up these ferocity swords, which is pretty interesting. And the admin rod was added on the release of the Rift in June 2023, which is really interesting considering, as far as I'm aware, I don't really think there's any fishing content in the Rift. Uh, maybe it was just a coincidence that they added it in at the same time as the Rift, I don't know. As I was saying at the start of the video, th there's different reasons for these items not being obtainable. Maybe they maybe they just simply scrapped the giant's um, the giant's eye sword just because they thought I don't know maybe there was no point in really implementing it into the game maybe they didn't think people would use it it is probably something to do with balancing or just the usability the crypt sword we talked about at the start of the video too it is clear that it was probably just an earlier form of the dreadlord sword that never got released and for the rest of the items they're mainly just I guess testing items for admins to see how I guess. Um, maybe changes that they've implemented in updates actually work out. Maybe the Ferocity Sword was maybe to help them develop the Ferocity ability. And other items are clearly just for the funny or just to say that they've got this certain item and you can't get it. It, it is pretty interesting considering there's probably oh, maybe even hundreds of other items that are in the game but you just simply can't obtain because they've either scrapped them or just I guess thought against them for whatever reason. Okay, so I'm um, currently here on Time Dio and Technoblades Island, and there are a few items that they have on display that are as good as unobtainable. They're not weapons or pieces of armor, more collectibles. And the first one being the Dead Bush of Love, um, given to players who beta tested Skyblock. Then also we have Doctor's Space Helmet, given to players who are dumb enough and rich enough to buy. Now of course you can purchase a Space Helmet for about 650 mil. you can obtain it actually through the garden. If you get the spaceman to visit you, then you can simply aid the spaceman with crops and, and and obtain it. Well, there's a difference between a space helmet and a doctor's space helmet. And basically, a doctor's space helmet, um, you would visit doctor and pay him 750 mil. And he stopped doing it. I'm not sure if doctor's even still an admin. But as far as I'm aware, these don't actually exist anymore and they're unobtainable. And there's, there's of course, one here on, on Time Dio's Island and that would make sense. But um, as far as I'm aware, all of the Dots of Space Helmets were actually basically converted into regular Space Helmets. Which is actually kind of sad, considering it was a really, really, really cool collectible. Um, and it showed the person who the um, Space Helmet was originally given to on the item. Um, and I wish they actually bring back something like this. It is really cool. We have three more items here. We have the Ancient Elevator, the Pioneer Pickaxe, and French Bread. The Ancient Elevator, given to people who answered Mini Clunes Trivia. It's pretty much as good as unobtainable now because is Mini Clune going to be doing more trivia? I'm not sure. The Pioneer Pickaxe given to people who tested the Crystal Hollows on HP Alpha. So yeah, um, of course that was quite a while ago. So if you've got one of those then fair enough. Um, if you want one then good luck. And then French Bread given to people who tested dungeons on Hypixel Alpha even longer ago um, than Crystal Hollows. Now that, there are other items like the... Um, the, the Game Breaker or the Creative Mind, but I guess technically you could still obtain them. They're not unobtainable. If you have a really good idea and it gets implemented into Skyblock, then you'll get a Creative Mind. If you report a Game Breaking bug, then you have a chance of getting a Game Breaker. Well, these are still obtainable. Now, I personally find all of these items and things that are unobtainable pretty interesting. And I'm sure there is probably hundreds, hundreds of, of more items that are in the game somewhere, but just not obtainable at the moment. And if you know of any more, then please let me know in the comments. But anyway, that's going to be just about the end of today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.